What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy to see you if you're a returning person. If you're not, thanks for stopping by. And if you could please support my channel, that would be great. Hit that subscribe button or that like button and let me know that you like my content and that you want to see more. It really helps me grow as a person, grow as a channel, and you know, it really helps just to support some people, right? So now, if you do, go ahead, grab your glass, because we have something to cheer about. The reason why we're cheering today with our glass of wine yeah. is I'm going to go ahead and show you. I bought a wine kit. bought this from Amazon. So I just want to get back to my roots a little bit. I do know the gist of making wine. Um, you know, I can, I can make you some real good ghetto wine, but we are going to make us some fancy good wine. I do know the gist of how to make a little bit of moonshine and wine, but that might just be from where I'm from in my background, <clears throat> West Virginia. I can't wait to show you what's in the box, so let's get started. So in my box here, they went ahead and gave us all types of goodies. I have a nice glass jug. This is a one gallon kit. It was about $50. Um, they have bigger kits. There, It was like five or six gallons. Uh, I just wanted to start out with something a little bit smaller and work my way up. If this turns out to be something that I really love doing, then hey, you know, I will go ahead and spend that money and I will get the bigger kit. Our fermentation bucket that they have given us. This is the fermentation lid. So you will put that on once you got your fruit in here. It's got this little red stopper here where you put another piece on top of it so it helps escape the carbon dioxide but does not let anything get in, let any oxygen to oxidize your wine. It came with a goodie bag here. Inside we have our little carbon escapers here. I already told you to go on our jugs here. This is like more than just one step fermentation process. Okay, so you would take this and you would put it, like I said, right here in the stopper. And this is just gonna let those carbon gases out. You actually fill this up with water as it lets out. So this is a, a process. So, uh, some more things that are in our goodie bag here that came in the box is this cleanser. It's going to help, you know, disinfect everything. You don't necessarily, I think, need a no rinse cleanser. I feel like this is something that you could just use some bleach and disinfect everything. But because we're making wine, it is really important to disinfect what you are using every single tool. More goodies I have is some peptic enzymes. I'm not really sure what that is for, but you know, we'll look into it. Um, it says you have to add a half a teaspoon per gallon of fruit wine must, must before start of fermentation. So it sounds like it's an important step. Uh, we also here have some candom tablets. This is very important for us as well. A couple other things we have here is some potassium sorbate. You have some yeast nutrient. And this is also an acid blend, some more chemicals that is really good to make just an awesome wine. It did also come with a nice wine tanning. Uh, this actually will help clarify your wine and just make it a little bit more clear. One thing I was excited about to get in this, um, it's actually a wine bag or infusion bag, whatever you want to call it, or a brew bag. They've got a couple different names, but you would actually put your fruit into the bag and put it in with our mixture into the bucket. This helps just so you don't have a bunch of stuff floating around, a lot of particles everywhere. And when you go to pull everything out and you're siphoning, it's kind of less residue floating around everywhere. And what is actually really good about this is we can take a potato masher and just keep mashing it every day that we're having to mix. And that will just let it more diffuse out of the bag and more fruit's going to get out to make our alcohol. Now, speaking of alcohol, most important thing about having fruit wine is you are going to need yeast. Now this packet, it did come with this Red Star yeast, which I see a lot of good reviews about this, especially this one. It's going to give you a nice light bodied wine, which is pretty cool. But I went ahead and did my research a little bit further and I decided to go ahead and buy this. This is a Lalvin 1118. Uh, this one, from what I've read, it only gets you about a 10 to 12, if you're lucky, 13%. Uh, alcohol volume and this pack
brackets will actually get you up to 18%. And you know what? Mama likes a strong drink. I will put these yeast in uh, the refrigerator until I'm ready to make our wine. Um, it's actually really important that you refrigerate this because your yeast can actually die in these packets. And if that does, then you're not going to make any alcohol. So I will go ahead and put these in the refrigerator. Next up, we have an alcoholic barometer. So this thing here is actually going to tell us the volume of alcohol. So that's really cool to have. I'm excited to have that in our lovely kit. Also in our kit, we have some siphoning tools here. So you have a hose. You have right here is a siphoning piece that when it's being sucked out, it's easy to like pour into our jar or our wine bottles if you have them. Uh, this is also going to be a siphoning tool. You push down like this and it's just going to kind of siphon everything out as well. This just helps kind of get the fine wine that we want without a lot of nasty particles at the bottom of the wine, right? Last thing is this book. So it's got a nice handcraft wine making guide. It's going to tell us all of our instructions that we need to know. And, you know, that's really good and handy to have. So that's it, guys. That's everything I have in my kit. And I would say there's a couple things that I feel like we are missing. Uh, is one, a stir spoon. Two, we're going to need a corks. And we're going to need a bottle corker, right? Because what are we going to store our wine in? So that seemed a little off to me, but that's okay. We can just order that from Amazon. I think I've seen corks for like five or six bucks and a wine corker was probably around 12. So it's not like it's gonna just like take away everything out of your pockets, right? So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to start a video about uh, the process. If you want, leave a comment below and tell me what type of wine you would like me to start out with first and maybe we'll do it. All right. Bye.